So in the last lecture, we were able to convert the Word file that we have in Word file, the David, into PDF. But this is not our expected result. We have to be creating all these Word files into PDF using the desktop application that we have. For that, what we have to do is first we have to get all these particular files from this folder and then use the desktop application and then convert all these Word files to PDF, right? In that case, what we have to do is here also, as we can see, we have passed a hard-coded value, which is not appropriate. This has to be dynamic. As a, as a first thing, what we can do is we can use assign activity. I'm just dragging it to get the files, all the files available in that particular folder, word files folder. I can do is start typing directory. Sorry, what I will just let you know what I have done. Click on control and then hold space, then start typing directory. Here is the one dot get files. Just click on get files available to you here. Open brackets, double quotes, and pass the folder from where you want to get all the files from. I have copied the path and pasted it over here. Okay, so this particular .NET function will give me all the file paths available in that particular folder. I have to save this in a variable. This will result in an array of strings. So I have to create a variable control K my files and enter. If I just go to variables, here is the variable and the default type is string. I have to convert this into array of strings. Click on array of T and then set it to string. That's done. The error is no more there. Okay. Right now I have the files with me. This is how we actually retrieve the files from a directory. Okay. You can check it later.